Uh, eight, eight was the it was the first place that I that I ever did anything that was alcohol related. They didn't require me to be gyrated on to some really bad reggae tone or strained or kicked out of somewhere. I just took a seat and there's this guy at the podium and he's like, I wake up in a ditch. My pants are wet. And I'm on the cape. I don't know anybody on the cape. And I could understand this because one time I woke up in Jamaica Plain on a sidewalk with only half of my hair weaved. <laughs> so I did bartending some nights. And the nights that I wasn't working the bar, I was attending my meetings. I was trying to get to know myself and what I was doing in my extracurricular activities. You know, it's like people in AA, they just, they get me. They're like, don't drink. Uh, other people, they're like, can't you just have two glasses of wine? And I think about that. And I'm like, sure, I can have two glasses of wine, but then for no reason at all, I'm ordering a Jameson and a double beef eater with tonic. <laughs> I go to the bathroom, I come back ten times more drunk than when I was. I scroll around on my phone just trying to see if I can still order one of those pizzas with the cocaine on it. <laughs> They'll just let me know that they deliver those now to me. <laughs> to another meeting because they told me to keep coming and um, I started I uh, started you know Jay, isn't it funny that like when you when you give up something you know whether it's like smoking or drinking or your kids go off to college how all of a sudden it's like you're just filling up your life with other things and for me it was coffee and um, you know, and I, and, I, and I was waking up and feeling really good, and so 